hey y'all, Teresa from Strinko Ridge Farm. I got a quick little message I want to say about something. Um, I'm up here by the big gardens. Um, so I had, uh, I have a, a smaller herb garden that's got some vegetables in it. Lee's got the big garden back here. And then we had planted an extra little garden because I had some, uh, uh, winter squash I want it to do. It's also got some, uh, lemon cucumbers planted in it. But, uh, what I want to tell a little quick story about what happened out here one day. And, uh, and, um, uh, it's kind of a message. It's kind of a message for anybody. Um, <laughs> something to think about. And I'm going to title it, Know Who Your Enemy Is. Remember who your enemy is. And um, so you can apply that any way you want to, in your garden or in your life, spiritually maybe even. Um, but uh, I'm going to turn around and tell you a little bit about this, uh, these squash plants. All right, y'all. So um, I have babied these squash plants because um, I've had squash bugs several years and I fought them and fought them and fought them and um, this year we uh, we got uh, Lee built me six raised beds so that I don't have to fight the weeds and I don't have to bend over as far because uh, I have uh, sciatic nerve problems real bad and uh, and uh, rheumatoid arthritis now, I'm doing a lot better with all that because I have found some remedies that have really helped. Um, I was taking a pill from the doctor for a little while, but now I'm not taking that because I have found some other things. I'll do that in another video, okay? Uh, but for now, I'm going to talk about the squash plants and how um, I prayed over my gardens um, some of y'all might not believe in that, but let me tell you something. If you don't believe in prayer, you need to get your heart right. Get your heart right and let the Lord come into your heart and you will find out that prayer does work. Um, he will answer your prayers if it's something that he wants for your life also because sometimes we ask things that's not in his plan for our life and so his answer then is no but sometimes we ask things that he's okay with or fits into the plan he has for us and then he answers prayers but if your prayer ain't getting no further than your mouth because your heart's not in it your heart's not right with him, then he might not be answering your prayers at all. Um, so you got to get your heart right first before he's going to answer those prayers. And the first prayer is to ask him into your heart. So um, there's my sermon part of this. <laughs> and uh, so what I really want to talk about is how these squash plants, um, when I first planted them, I started them in my greenhouse and I put them out here. Uh, we didn't have any more room in my raised beds. No more room over there in the garden. So Lee had uh, done this little piece of garden for me last year for some things I was planting. And, um, and, and squash bugs just was eating everything up. And I, and I just fought them and fought them and fought them. And I did get some things out of uh, out of my plants I, uh, it was uh, one thing in here was um, spaghetti squash and I had to just fight and fight and fight with squash bugs to keep them off of my spaghetti plants long enough to get spaghetti squash uh, but I did I did get some uh, but it was a lot of fighting with it but uh, these plants I put in the ground here and um, and I prayed I prayed because I know that we've got hard times coming. They're talking about food shortages. I know that here for me and Lee, our um, um, electric bill has gone up. Our, uh, of course, gas has gone up. 
um, you know, times are getting harder. So I prayed that the Lord would help us to have a good garden um, with lots of, of uh, uh, produce and stuff and har- a good harvest and keep, and I prayed about the pests. I prayed that he would keep some of the pests away. Now, I didn't just pray and leave it there. I done my part also, which is what he expects from us. I done my part also, and I put uh, DE out, and I put, um, of course, we've got good soil, especially in my raised beds, but these are doing good too, and they don't have the uh, compost that my raised beds do. But everything's doing good. It's got to be prayer. I say it's partly the compost, but these don't have the compost. Now, they've got mulch and stuff that uh, leaves and and things that Lee has tilled into the ground. So we really have made our soil uh, really good. But, um, but that doesn't keep the pests away most of the time. Um uh, I, I used DE and I used uh, cayenne pepper. Somebody told me that cayenne pepper would keep some of the pests away. And uh, so, uh, on with my story about the squash. I planted them. I prayed about them. I was coming out here every, each and every morning with my gloves in hand checking these plants. I thought if I seen any squash bugs, I would get them right away and get them killed right away so that they didn't get out of control. So, um, every morning I come out, I didn't see any, I didn't see any, and I didn't see any every morning. Um, I ended up finally one morning, I come out, and there was uh, three squash bugs on one of these plants. I believe it was that middle one there. And um, <clears throat> so I got my gloves and I squashed the squash bugs. And I started looking for eggs. I didn't see any eggs at all. And I told Lee, I said, I'm going to have to go up there and spray something. Um, and, and if it if worse comes to worse, I will use permethrin. I think that's how you say it. I probably say it wrong. Permethrin. Permethrin. Um, I will use that. It's made out of chrysanthemums. And uh, so, if I have to, I will use that. It is not harmful to anything, but the only thing I know of is cats. It's It can be toxic to cats if they ingest it. So, um, so I come up here the next morning and was going to spray. All right? Um... And I had my, my jug with my stuff in it come up here. And I was just about to spray that stuff on my plants. And um, I came over here to this first one and was about to spray. And I looked down in there. And there was a frog down in there right at the base of my plant. And I was fixing to spray, and something hit me. Something just smacked me right in the head and said, that's not your enemy. You understand? Do you understand already? (laughs) Something said to me, that's not your enemy. And I stopped and backed up, and I thought, hmm. That frog is probably eating bugs, bad bugs. And if there was any more of those squash bugs, he might eat them. I don't know. But I thought, no, I'm not going to spray that one. I'm not going to spray that one because that frog's probably eating bad bugs. So I walk over here to the next one, and I thought, well, do I need to spray it? Since the frog's over there, maybe I better not spray the one beside it either. So maybe I'll just spray this one on the end. Walked over to it, a ladybug. 
a real ladybug, not one of those Asian beetles that look kind of like a ladybug. But there's a difference, and if you look it up, you can see the difference between a ladybug and an Asian beetle. There are a couple of lookalikes, and I know the difference because I've looked it up recently. It was a ladybug. And there you go again. I thought, wait a minute. That's not my enemy either. So, I guess what I'm trying to get at is um, know your enemy. Just what I said. Just the title of this, Know Your Enemy. Remember who your enemy is. And that's not only in gardening, that's also in life. And you know who our enemy is in life? Y'all know this. The devil. The devil and his demons. And they are here in our world. Whether you believe it or not, they're here. You can see it all around us. Your enemy is not your neighbor. Your enemy is not um, um, anybody. Anybody but the devil. The devil is our enemy. And he uses people. He uses people against us. And he uses uh, things in this world to distract us. And, um, but our enemy is the devil. And in our garden, <laughs> in our garden, the squash bug is the enemy. And, um, and others, there's others, hornworms, different ones, they are our enemies. And so when you see a frog in the garden, if you see a frog in the garden, He's probably not hurting your plant. He's probably getting the bad bugs. Now, I don't know. I don't know that frogs do any damage. There may be certain plants that frogs might do damage to. But, you know, that's getting off of my point. My point was I decided to leave this frog alone and let him have the bugs. And in life... My neighbor and my, you know, whoever down the street or the people I meet every day out in the streets, they're not always my enemy. Um, the devil is. Even if they're doing the devil's work, the devil's the real enemy. So that's something to keep in mind. Know who your enemy is and remember who your enemy is. So there you go. I know this is off and different from what I usually would talk about. But, um, but boy, this just hit me in the head. Um, and, um, and I had to, to tell it. So um, I'll leave you with a few shots of our gardens. They are beautiful this year. Now I'm praying that the Lord will give us the strength and the time to get it all harvested and preserved <laughs> because he has given us a huge, huge bounty. Uh, everything is just so beautiful. It's amazing. And uh, so I'm going to put some pictures here of our gardens uh, for you to see. And um, just remember, like I said, remember who your enemy is.